Hey, morning, and welcome to a traffic jam edition of Seven Figure Business Secrets. Hey, so yeah, just on my way into the office, and uh, yeah, as you, as you can see all around me, stuck in a, in a pretty lengthy traffic jam. Uh, apparently, there's a, there's a crash about five miles ahead, so we're just waiting for it all to clear. Um, but yeah, it gives me a great opportunity to give, to give a, a quick chat to you guys. And what I want to talk to you about this morning was, was something we've been working on uh, for, for basically, actually, it seems like years, but actually only the last week. It's a, it's a new product that we've got coming up, and you, you'll hear more about it. Uh, but it, basically, it's, it's, a, it's the uh, big business startup systems product. And it's basically, it's how do you set up a, a startup quickly in a way that's going to get you, you know, a, a high income, and yeah, basically fund your lifestyle, but but make it happen quickly. Because the problem with most startups, as you probably know, is well, ninety percent fail. That's not good, um, and that that's just the reality. But a lot of that is avoidable, and the reason that most startups fail is is not because you know there aren't clever people and great entrepreneurs. It's actually the advice that's followed, and the standard advice is actually incorrect. Uh, because actually what's really important to startups is is cash. Cash is king. And, and if you follow the right approach for startups, oh, oh this is mad, uh, there is a swan on the road. I, I kid you not. Um, I, I don't think I'm gonna take a photograph of this, which is a shame. Um, this is mad. <laughs> Poor swan is just sitting here in the road, doesn't know what to do with itself. Poor bird. <laughs> anyway, we're now past the swan. <laughs> um, so yeah, so so most people, yeah, they, they don't know what to do. So what happens is 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 that they go gung ho for a year, um, ups and downs, ups and downs, and then it starts dawning on them actually this isn't happening as fast as they thought it was, and then by by year one and a half to two, they begin to run out of cash, um, sales aren't coming in, and and eventually they just have to you know give up. I know because that's happened to me twice, and um, but but actually it's all avoidable. That's what I, what I've learned is that that actually the way we start businesses and the way that's portrayed out there is how we do it is, is just wrong. Um, you know, we're taught of business plans and you know you need to do this, that and the other and legal structures. Actually it's not, it, it's, it breaks down to, there's actually five things you need to do uh, for a successful startup. And, and they're the only five things you should be working on initially. And the thing about these five things is you need to work on all of them together. Now, if you want to be successful, successful quickly, which means actually getting cash coming in quickly to support you in your venture before the cash runs out, you need to be looking at these five things. So what are they? Very, very, very quickly. Um, the first one is positioning. And it's basically figuring out what is the problem in the market that, that customers actually have and are spending money on, right? Really important, they actually have and they're spending money on. I, they're willing to commit money to go and, and solve this. And part of that positioning is, where do you fit into that? Do you think that you're able to solve their problem better or quicker or whatever cheaper or whatever it is than what they're currently um, trying to solve their problems with? And, and you need to really spend a bit of time on that. Talk to people, look at your competitors, look at what you've got uh, and figure that one out. And, and if you get that one right, everything else comes a lot easier. The second thing is your product or service. So what exactly, like what are you providing that's, that's going to solve that problem really well? Uh, and that's the key. You've got to you, you build your product or service around solving the problem, right? Because if you can solve the problem, guess what? Your marketing is easier, your word of mouth is easier because people will actually take, take the, the thing that, that, you're, that you're selling use it and get a result and by them getting a result you're going to be much more confident in your products and you're going to be much happier selling them so it's a big big virtuous circle and the third thing is okay so you have your positioning and your products yeah and the third thing is is all around your prospecting so where are your customers currently sitting and how do you get them to put their hands up and say hey i'm potentially interested in i've got that problem and i'm potentially interested in you solving it for me uh, so call it marketing, things like that. But actually, I think prospecting is a better way. Marketing is overused and, and it's got all sorts of connotations that it shouldn't have. The fourth thing is the persuasion. So this is where you, you take someone who said, hey, Keith, I've got this problem. I think you can solve it. How do you persuade them um, that actually, you know, you're the person who's best placed to solve their problem and that you can help them specifically, them specifically, so 
overcome their own self-doubts about whether they could ever solve this problem, but persuade them that their problem needs to be solved now and that you have a solution that'll actually work for them and they'll give you money then to go and invest in that. And the fifth, fifth thing is all around partnering. So once you've made the sale, it's really important that um, you actually look after them and you look after your customer and you make sure that uh, that actually, yeah, it works for them. Their, their problem does actually get solved. And, and if you do that right, you're, you're gonna get referrals and lots of good things and repeat sales, all of those things. And that's what makes a, a business, it takes a business from being you know, barely profitable to being incredibly profitable. So partnering, really important. What's the order you do the five things in? No way, what just happened there? <laughs> I'll tell you what I did. Uh, we got a phone call and uh, I clicked the phone and I forgot to turn the video back on. So I was, after after that clip, I was talking away to the video and I went through and explained everything else uh, that I meant to explain. And at the very end, clicked. I went to click the, the stop record and realized, do you know what? <laughs> I hadn't been recording myself. So anyway, uh, back home, it's now about 10 hours later since I was last talking. Hey, did you see a really cool thing? Um, that swan, that's obviously what put me off. You can actually see the swan's head at the back of the car as he passed it. How cool is that? See, I wasn't lying to tell them porkies. Anyway, I was just getting on to tell you how the, the five things, remember the five things and how really important it is to do and what order do you do them in? Well, basically you have to do them all together. And and I've just spent the last week, hence the, the bags under the eyes and everything doing the five things for, for the product we're about to launch. And and it, it's it's quite intense because basically you gotta go and you gotta figure out, well, what's my positioning? Does that work? Hmm, okay, what does that mean for my product? Hmm, okay, so if this is my positioning product, what's that mean for my messaging? Huh, I need to go and change an element of my product. And you, and you just keep working around back and forth, back and forth, asking questions until eventually you come up with the, the, the magic five that you now know how it's gonna work for you. So that's my advice to you. If, you. if you are looking to create a business that's going to be sustainable and is going to basically replace your salary and income and all of that, you've got to have a look at all five. Ignore probably three quarters of the business advice that you hear. Um, it doesn't work. I know I've been there. I am MBA trained. I'm telling you, I, I, <laughs> I've been told it and sold all of that. But actually, it's it's designed for, for companies who want to get huge bank loans and VC funding. That's what most business advice out there is actually based on. Um, the business advice that you need for now, right this second, given the world we're in, is basically less, listen, you need to be getting out there. You don't need a huge amount of capital or cash to do it. You need to follow those five things, those five things, the five P's I talked to you about. So remember, it's your positioning, it's your product, it's your prospecting, it's your persuasion and your partnering. Right, hope that helps and I shall talk to you soon. Bye.